Hello, this is the Silly Moustache. You can't see me, but I'm here to make a short video about how I would recommend you hold a pick or a plectrum. There are many shapes and thicknesses to plectrums, but these are the most common. This is called the teardrop nowadays, uh, or the 351 plectrum shape. This is the large triangle or the 346. Those numbers were designated by Deandria who were the first to define pick shapes and make them out of celluloid I believe. I prefer the large triangles. They give you three usable points rather than one and they have more mass for the thickness and they're simply easier to hold. Pick thicknesses generally stated in millimeters. This is the thinnest pick I could find and it is 0 0.6, 0 0.6 of a millimeter and you can see that it's terribly, terribly flippy and flappy. These are often preferred by beginners because they're very easy to strum with but to do anything more intricate they're a bit problematic and people tend to generate to thicker picks as they develop their playing skills. I prefer to um, use picks which are one millimeter to 1.5. Uh, there's no relevance with these I'm just showing them because I like the large triangles. Um, I use one millimeters on light gauge strings on guitars which is 12 to 54 and I use 1.25 and 1.5 on um, guitars with medium uh, gauge strings i.e. 13 to 56. But that's a personal preference and you make your own choice. This is my recommendation now for holding the pick and I want you to do something with me. This is my forearm and this is my hand and um, I'm going to have that straight, that forearm. The wrist is not bent backwards or forwards and it's not bent up or down. It's in a relaxed position. Now I would like you to make a fist. Okay, and now relax the hand. And this is your resting position. Without bending your thumb, rest it on the first joint of your index finger. This is your pick holding position. The other fingers may be closed or open. Again, personal choice. Place the pick, where's the pick? Here's the pick, on that joint of the finger, just a little bit between the knuckle and the fingertip, like that. Then, um, with the hard part of your thumb, I'm moving out of camera, aren't I? Um, just hold the pick. Remember we are holding not gripping. Don't bend the thumb. Don't squeeze the pick. Holding not gripping. Note, I also finger pick and so I have rather longer than usual thumbnail there and index finger nail. That is what I, I, I f f finger pick with. These don't present a problem when I'm using a flat pick. If it presents a problem for you, then it's possible that maybe your the angle of your hand is not parallel and relaxed. Um, so consider your positioning of your wrist and your forearm. So place the pick so it is about a quarter of an inch or five millimeters from the end of your index finger. Again, this is personal preference. Some people would like more, some people would like less. The pick should address the string in this way. Ah, oh, here's, my, here's my string. And so if I'm playing a downstroke, it should hit the lower front end of the pick, which is on good quality picks will be beveled and when I'm doing upstrokes, it's the upper back end. Down, up, down, up. Okay. 
holding the pick too tightly prompts it actually prompts it to move around in your fit between finger and thumb it acts like a tiddlywink and we don't really want that again we're holding not gripping if you really wish you can roughen the flat of the uh, of the pick to give you a little bit more grip but we're talking about grip here um, we don't need to grip it too hard uh, for this video I'm using my two favorite um, brands of picks uh, the white one on the left is a vegan from the Netherlands that's w-e-g-e-n vegan and this is I use tf 140s and tf 120s 120 1.2 mil 1.4 140 um, blue chip are an American make and um, they have the large triangles defined as TAD, T-A-D, and I use one millimeters, which is a TAD 40, that's 40 thousandths, I believe, um, which I use on light strings, um, TAD 50, which is 1.25, and the TAD 60, as shown here, uh, a 1.5 for medium strings, different guitars, different choices, but again, personal preference. So there we are. Um, I hope this has helped you. Uh, whether you use a, um, a teardrop or a large triangle is your choice, but um, I find these easier to hold without gripping. Um, if you have any questions or comments, then please write down below. I always read the comments and I always try to answer the questions. So if you have been, thanks for watching. Bye.